Okay, so you've got questions and I've got answers. Uh, Joey Faze had a great question on the channel and I'm just gonna go ahead and answer it. What's up guys, it's Lee here, the rental guy, and today I'm gonna answer a great question that came up on the channel. So, I've got about 2,500 bucks. What tent and supplies do you recommend? I'm trying to start a rental business with me and my friend. Please let me know what you recommend. Joey Faze, that's a great question. So you have 2,500 bucks, right? So let's just take a look at my program, see what people are pre-booking. And remember, we're trying to build a company on 2,500 bucks. So we have to be smart with which inventory we start with. Okay, for instance, I've got 10 by 20 pop-up tents here. Uh, no bookings for them in the foreseeable future. Cause that's something that, why would they pre-book that? Uh, it's, you know, small and... So that means 10 by 20 tents are last minute booking things. You won't book those right now. I'm not sure how it works in your area if it's the season goes full season, but here it's winter and people aren't renting things. People, I mean, I get a few rentals here and there, a few smalls, but majority of the time it's people booking for in the future. Keep in mind a bigger tent for me might be a small tent for another company because I do marquee tents strong side by side. So uh, 20 by 30, 30 by 40, 30 by 60, 30 by 80, 30 by 100, 30 by 120, that kind of stuff. Now let's see how many bigger tents are booked. 30 by 40, 30 by 80, 30 by 40, 30 by 60, and a 20 by 30. Um, Thirty by forty. So right now I've got six pre-bookings for next year for big tents. So that means that big tents are out of the question for you this year because you just can't afford to buy that with twenty five hundred bucks in any foreseeable way unless you borrow money. But that doesn't mean that you can't start smaller and change your business model to grow into those tents over a few years. I would start with chairs and I would offer a ceremony seating setup package. So I would go for white fan back chairs because those are the most popular in my area for the highest return seats that uh, people book for their ceremony seating. And if you give a great deal with a pickup and return package and you take a deposit for that, you can start getting money in before you even take the bookings. So I would start marketing myself as a table and chair ceremony setup rental business, right? And so you're sitting on that 2,500 bucks so that if you don't get enough bookings, by then you can always go out and buy those chairs. However, if you do it smart enough and you take enough bookings for those chairs, you should have enough in just deposits to actually buy those chairs for that ceremony seating. This guy right here is the white fan back that I speak of. So it's a folding chair. So in my area and a lot of areas for a regular client, this is perfect ceremony seating. So this is a white fan back chair and uh, check the pricing in your area. Make sure it goes out for a while. Some areas it's a normal chair. Some areas it's just blasted way up in price. And in my area, it's the blasting one. Fan back chairs, they're like the perfect combination. Uh, because people use them for fancy events, they use them for weddings, but then they also use them for backyard parties to just give a little bit of touch of extra elegance. So they work in backyard parties, they work for wedding ceremonies, they work for so many applications. I'd say that they're the most versatile folding chair that you can have. Let's take a look at uh, what people are pre-booking for fan back chairs. Okay, so we can see right there, white fan back chair. Let's go to January. There we go, let's go to January, 26. February, nothing. March, nothing. April, May, June, 130. Uh, July, 350, 200. Um, that's still July, 100, 245. September, 70, 130. Okay, so 1,272 chairs times $3.50. So that's $4,452 in profit. Now, if you take a 25% deposit from that amount, $1,113. So that means that I took $1,113 for all those chairs. So I now have $1,113 to put towards fan back chairs if I needed to buy those to fill orders. So I wouldn't have to spend that $2,500 uh, that I use and I can put that towards the remainder of the chairs or tents like a 20 by 20 marquee for future bookings because people will book those later on. 
more closer to the event. If you do it smart enough and you take enough bookings for those chairs, you should have enough in just deposits to actually buy those chairs for that ceremony seating. And then this is when you go into phase two. And phase two is great because you've already bought these chairs with the money that you needed for deposits, but you still have your 2,500 bucks. You were basically taking loans on people's trust for you and uh, reinvesting it to fulfill your promise to them of getting that ceremony seating ready. Because what you really wanna move forward to is getting some packages for people. Uh, people, by the summertime, hopefully you'll have enough money to have a 20 by 20 tent with four round tables or else even folding tables and then your chairs that you can use under them. You could start marketing them as a package for um, you know, a tent table and chair package, a 20 by 20 marquee tent table and chair package and you can start getting some real money out of that and then you just keep reinvesting. That would be the smartest way for me that I would spend 2,500 bucks. And the reason that I say that you're probably gonna want a 20 by 20 tent to start renting is because 10 by 20 is too small, but you take two 20 by 20s marquee tents and put them side by side with a gutter attached, attached in between. Well, then that's a 20 by 40 tent. So you can do a 20 by 40 size as soon as you get two of them, uh, or you can do a 20 by 20 size. Lots of people uh, do great business with multiple 20 by 20 marquees. And the reason you wanna make that a marquee tent, which is a high peak frame tent, uh, because you can put two of these side by side. With a pole tent, you can't put them side by side because there's ratchets and stakes that have to stick out. But with the marquee tents, you can stake them right down where the legs are and you can put multiples of them together just by guttering in between them. I've got a video on guttering right there if you wanna check it out. It's a risky game to play like this, but if you have the money to back up, where's the risk? There's no risk in that. I did it, it worked for me. I stole the technique from Tent Guy who did it, worked for him, so I think it can work for you. Um, yeah, so that's just the basic model that I would use. You could tweak it any way you want, experiment for yourself, and come back and comment on this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, you know what to do, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Next time, I'll be setting up a cart. Ooh, so exciting. This is about 50 of them, so three stacks like this is about 150.